Hey, you hear you? This is Lord Potato, and this is What If Naruto Had a Tail Beast with Unlimited Tails? Yeah, Unlimited Tails. So, um, no recap because I did this yesterday. And other than that, um, go subscribe to Anime Sensei, Iconic What If, and Obito What If. The links will be in the description. But other than that, let me begin for part three. So yeah, this is part three. And yeah, am I trying to finish all my oldest what ifs? Pretty the fuck much? Yes. But other than that, let me go begin. So of course, Naruto is talking to Gara. And Gara says, so let's see if you're strong. So this is where Gara and Naruto disappears. Tamari and Conqueror White are eyes. Because, well, when they get to the training ground... <clears throat> Because they wanted to see how strong Naruto is. Naruto is fighting against Gara, and Gara is just saying, Let's see if you're stronger than a Kage. That's where Naruto smiles and says, Fine, let's see if I am stronger than a Kage. That's where Gara sends his sand abilities towards Naruto. Naruto easily dodges it. If you want to know how it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like if Silver, or if uh, what's it called, Quicksilver, just dodges like a couple of things, just keep moving around. And like slowly, he's just slowing down uh, time and the attacks are going uh, by him, but very slow. Yeah, that's what Naruto's doing. But Naruto is using lightning and he's so potent lightning that he can actually slow down time. Well, not slow down time exactly. Mostly go really fucking fast by adding lightning chakra to himself and going really fucking fast. That it looks like he's slowing down time, but really it's just him just being very fucking fast and able to see the attacks coming at him in a slow, precise time. While the, while the attack is still going as fast as normal and as strong as normal, it's just coming very slow to him. So of course Naruto's easily dodging it. And of course this is where Naruto was behind Gara and just smacked him in the head. This is where Gara just turns around and realizes that Naruto was behind him. Naruto says, who are you attacking though? This is where Gara tries to, well, well, what's it called? Swing his arm to try to hit uh, Naruto with a backhand. And this is where Naruto managed to dodge. Goes underneath and upper knees, what's it called? Uh, Gara in the uh, chin. Gara was sent up, but this is where Gara uses sand to make a sand domain. Well, a sand domain around Naruto and himself. And then says, sand co- uh, Well, not sand coffin. Sand, um... Sand... Uh, Sand uh, spikes. This is where multiple sand spikes uh, came around the whole uh, domain. Or not domain. The dome race, uh, mostly. And of course, shot at Naruto. Naruto. Seeing that this is only a closed space. And Gara is thinking that Naruto won't be able to escape this. What Naruto does is his ice dome. He makes his own ice dome that blocks all these sand uh, spikes. This is where Gara widens his eyes and sees ice. This is where Naruto... He breaks out of the ice and sends a very powerful flame attack. Fire style. Fire Phoenix. Shoots it at what's it called Gara through the ice and almost hits Gara. Now this ice isn't his mystic tail green. It's just a normal bluish color. It's a light blue. But yeah. Of course this is where Gara almost gets hit by the Phoenix. And of course this is where Naruto appears. Well, out of the dome, both of the sand and ice. And punches Gara down to the ground because Gara did jump up to get away from, well, the Phoenix. This is where Gara was smashed down to the ground, but this is where Gara sent a sand wave and sends multiple sand like waves at, well, Naruto. Like multiple, not sand waves, sand impacts. This is where these sand impacts are like they transform into fists because there is a lot of sand around. Even though he doesn't have Chicago no more. He actually is still able to control sand. It's just because of his mother's will is in the sand. So, of course, as it were, well. Gara is actually able to control sand pretty well. And, of course, this is where sand impacts turns into punches and tries to punch at well, Naruto. When Naruto is uh, still in midair. This is where Naruto, he actually jumps onto one of the impacts of sand because they're still connected to the ground. Uh, the mostly punch and all that transform punch and Naruto starts just running down on it This is where Naruto has to dodge multiple punches because this is where Gara is sending multiple of them Gara is trying well intending to kill Naruto, 
but mostly trying to see how strong he is. How strong he is against a Kage Shinobi. Or a Kage, not Kage Shinobi, a Kage level Shinobi. This is where, well, Naruto, he easily dodges all the attacks and axe kicks Gara back to the ground. This is where Gara is already laying on the ground. But of course, he tries to get up, trying to jump away from Naruto, but Naruto already smashed him to the ground. Naruto didn't even use any chakra or anything like that. He only used ice, lightning, and then fire. But he's not using them, any of the, well, uh, mostly Karama's chakra. Or mostly the infinity chakra uh, that he has. Naruto smiles and says, Is that enough for you? This is where Gara says, Not even close. Hmm. Interesting. A Kage level shinobi like you. Hmm. Tell me, are you part of any village? Naruto says, No, not recently. So, yeah. I can be your somewhat assassin, bounty hunter, or even just someone to help you around the village. Mm, without the politics, Naruto says, I am not good in politics, so you good luck with that. I'm not sad good at politics, but yeah. Now, let me show you why I can be able to destroy the Nine Tails in instantly power. This is where Gara and Nero has eyes, and Naruto, he says, let's do this, Karama. Karama says, are you sure? Yeah. Besides, we have so much chakra, even if I go against a whole fucking Shinobi, uh, Shobo, uh, the Shinobi world. I'm still stronger than every fucking person. Karama just nodded and says, fine, then let's do it. Naruto, he goes and claps his hands together and he can go into a KCM uh, form. This KCM form is red and like blue. So it's a lighter blue than this and a darker red than this. And of course, this is where he transformed into it. And of course, this is where, well, Gar is narrowing his eyes. It looks like KCM from, well, original canon Naruto, like uh, Kur with Kurama. But in this form, it has that. But instead of the lines being black, they're actually a lightning bluish color. And of course, the lines aren't like straight, they're jagged, like lightning. <laughs> of course, as well, Naruto, he activated both his Dojutsu eyes. To be put on the different, well, what's it called, different side, like the ice side being the blue side, and the red side being the fire side. So, of course, he activates those, and this is where Naruto creates from his back about, uh, he was thinking, how many should I create? 20 tails. This is where Karama says, hmm. Yeah, I mean, we're like two ten tails combined, if you want to think about it like that. Naruto creates 20 tails, and Naruto says, Behold the uh, what's it called? He says the twenty Telchin Jerky. Gara widened his eyes. Conqueror and Tormari widened their eyes. This is where Gara never heard of a twenty tail Jerky or a tail beast like that. And if Naruto has that much power to able to control his own tail beast and able to do twenty tails, he even did say Kai. Both Tomari and Conqueror did say Kai. To get rid of the Genjutsu, but there was no Genjutsu. This magnificent power is raiding off of Naruto, just going off of Naruto. And of course, this is where Gara he decides to bow down because he knows that he just lost. This is where Gara says, "I see. No wonder you're able to take out the Nine Tails. If the Twenty Tails is stronger than the Nine Tails, then you're able to take it out." Then why do you need my help to go against the Leaf Village? Naruto says he gets out of KCM, out of his Infinity... Well, it's not called KCM. It's called Infinity Chakra Mode. That's what it's mostly called because, yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's no longer called KCM. It's called ICM, basically called Infinity Chakra Mode. Because he basically has infinity chakra, Kurama and Naruto. Even though Naruto is not the one with the infinity power, Kurama mixes chakra with Naruto, making Naruto able to have infinity also. So infinity, infinity, well, infinity plus infinity kind of makes, well, infinity. Now, it doesn't make negative thing infinity. That's actually negative infinity plus negative infinity making, wait, no, that's times. 
Nitty, but whatever. Of course, this is where, well, Naruto, he is able to go into the infinite mode. And of course, he also has infinite chakra. If he ever somehow managed to run out, Karama fills him up with chakra. But yeah, it's, well, Naruto doesn't have infinity, actually. He has a very large pool of chakra. And, of course, it's larger than, well, Karamo's, the Tentos, and even larger than some Utsutsukis. Like, higher Utsutsukis from Kaguya or Ishiki. Almost close to being, uh, what's it called, bigger than the Utsutsuki King. But it's not big enough as, like, the Utsutsuki God. That's Karamo's chakra. Karamo's chakra is beyond the Utsutsuki God. So, of course, it's where Naruto says <laughs> the reason why i want your help is well dealing with konoha might be easy for me it's just well there's a couple people that well i really don't care like minato namakaze and kushino uzumaki i want to destroy their clan i don't care about the uzumaki or namakaze because even they even if they die both minato kushina menma and Mento Uzumaki Namikaze's, um, their legacy will still kind of live on. This is where, well, Garner has eyes and says, what do you mean lived on? You see, there's only supposed to be two children. You, oh, Everyone must have heard that there must be only two children of the Yellow Flash. This is where Garner uh, like nodded his head and kind of his eyes. Naruto says, well, I am the third child. The forbidden dark child that Minato Namakaze decided to throw out. And, well, my revenge is to kill them for what they have done to me. So, that's why I mostly want to target them. Other than that, Konoha can go fuck off and die. That's why I need strong alliances. Strong people. Besides, if I go in there, I'll probably accidentally blow up the whole village. And the resources might be gone. Besides, limited resources are good. Uh, are kind of good resources anyway. And besides, I'm not that expert in finding good resources. Gara understands, nods, and says, "I see. So you must be the third child." Hmm. Very interesting. So, what is your actual name instead of being, uh, what was it called that you named yourself again? That's what Naruto says. Uh, Satoru Frio. Yeah, that. So, what is your actual name? Naruto says, well, my actual name is Naruto Uzumaki Namikaze. And I despise all that and would rather be called Satoru Frio. And so, well, Gara says, I see. Hmm. And I guess I'll call you Satoru then. Naruto nodded. This is where, well, uh... Gara says, but if you have that much power, how did you get it sealed, though? Naruto says, a uh, long story, but it's not with the Nine Tails. I don't know what I actually have. I don't have the Nine Tails because the Nine Tails was sealed in both of my brothers, and that's why I was kicked out of my house in the first place because I was useless to my dad or something. Like bullshit, that reason. And somewhat those bullshit lines. Gara nodded and says, I see. I see you. I can understand that. My father was the same damn person. So greedy in power. Oh, he wanted to manipulate me to become a weapon of the elite, of, well, not the elite village, of the sand village. What I did is became crazy and unable to sleep. Now that Chicago's gone, I'm able to sleep and get stronger. So I can understand your pain, uh, Satoru. This is where Naruto nodded, and this is where, well, Gara says, So, you did say you were going to travel around the, well, globe, aren't you? Naruto says, kinda. I, I could be an assistant here, but if you don't need my assist, uh, assistance right now for either a fight, going to carry out a mission to kill some leaf ninjas, or anything like that, then I will be taking my leave. Uh, the way you can contact me, Naruto says, is by this. Naruto, he goes through hand signs, 
And this is where he summons out, well, something that surprised Gara. Naruto summons out a small bird, but this bird wasn't normal. This bird had fire patterns all around it. Well, not fire patterns. Mostly it was all completely fire. Or not fire. Yeah, you know what, fire. This is a phoenix. Naruto found out that the phoenix are actually uh, kind of connected to his clan. And also, for the eyesight, he can actually summon a wolf. Since the wolf are actually connected to the eyesight. So, yeah. Actually, no. Uh, this phoenix is actually different. Uh, what's it called? No, this phoenix, instead of being fire, is actually lightning cover. So, yeah, it has, like, electricity all around it. What is connected to the fire side is actually the dragons. So, yeah. So, of course, he has about three mythical summoning creatures that he can summon through. But, yeah. Naruto says that he will summon this bird anytime he has any new message. Uh, about, like, a week or a couple of weeks or to eight or something like that. Anytime you need a message or anything... You can activate the seal. Naruto gives him a seal. To kind of call upon a, well, the same bird. And the bird will still come to me and warn me of any message or any news about you have. Or any mission. This is where Agara says, I see. Wait, wouldn't you need a headband? This is where Naruto says, well, if I had a headband, then what's it called? The leaf village would know that. I'm a part of your village and we start uh, trying to attack you. Gara nods and says, I see. I see. Hmm. Interesting. I guess you're right. So you must be just a hire for... I guess I would just put you as a hire man. Yep. That's where Gara says, hmm. I see. So this is where both Gara and Naruto kind of go back towards well the uh the kage tower and when they get there they uh kind of start talking of course both tamari and conqueror they're kind of just watching them both kind of communicate with each other and of course is where well naruto says he nods it uh towards what's called gara and gara nodded towards naruto so of course they both understand what they want Naruto wants to kill Minato Namikaze, Kushina Uzumaki, Mema Uzumaki Namikaze, and Mento Uzumaki Namikaze. Anything else from that? Also, Naruto says he would also like to kill the Uchiha. If it's possible. If they need the, what's it called, well, the seeds and other, what's it called, the eyes mostly? Or chakra or anything from the Uchiha? That would be... Up for grabs, but either other than that, uh, Naruto wants to kill the Uchiha. This is where Gar nodded, and this is where Gar writes, well, something's down. He writes two scrolls, two scrolls that Nar he wants Naruto to deliver. One to the right Hage, because not because Gar and Naruto were planning in something called a war of Asian tours. Uh, the basically leaf village, and basically an invasion that contains a uh, Naruto, Gara's uh, village, uh, the Rakage's village, and even the, the Son village, because all three of those villages hate basically uh, Konoha's guts, and of course even Naruto hates uh, basically Konoha. That's where Naruto says, "What about a third scroll? What do you mean?" If I'm able to somehow, well, kill the old, uh, what's it, uh, Mizukage, named Yagere, whatever bullshit his name is, and ask for someone else, like, help the Revolution Army, and make them alliance with us, you would think that they were able to help us against crushing Konoha. Gara says, that is true. So he makes actually a third scroll writing a lot of things and of course naruto he seals that third scroll on him just in case he will ever need to help may uh of course as well naruto grabs the other two 
So Naruto says, I'll be off now. This is where Naruto walks past uh, Tamari. And this is where Naruto says, I'll see you later, adorable. This is where Tamari flusters a little bit. This is where Kankuro and Gara nerd eyes. And of course, Naruto disappears in an instant. This is where Kankuro says, I see. So my older sis is going to get into someone's, into a relation. Bah! She, she like basically punched uh, Kankuro before Kankuro could even say anything. Uh, uh. So yeah, Conqueror has knocked his fucking lights out, but yeah. This is where Naruto's now running towards, well, in high speed, using a lightning chakra around him. And he since he has, li like, not limbless, mostly kind of limited, but still has a lot of chakra, he's able to get to the Cloud Village in a couple of fucking days. Like, two days, mostly. Naruto ran across from the sand all the way towards the Cloud Village. That's where Naruto, he gets to the Cloud Village in just two days. Well, stopping, Naruto doesn't even need to eat since he has too much chakra and so much power. So, yeah. This is where, well, Naruto gets to, well, uh, the Cloud Village. And Naruto, he's kind of just talking towards the guards. And, of course, the guards are kind of asking Naruto where he came from. Naruto says that he is from Suna, and this is where the guard says, Suna, what do you need? Naruto gives the guard a scroll, well, mostly not a scroll, kind of has a scroll for the Raikage. And of course, this is where the guards nodded, says any weapons. Naruto looks, uh, kind of shows that he kind of has kunas and shurikens, kind of basic supplies, but yeah. This is where they nodded, they kind of bring Naruto in. Uh, bring him to the right tag and the right tag is right now working out. So a is just like working out. He's like What do you want? This is where the guard says uh, right tag is summer. Um, someone is here and here were a scroll mostly This is where Naruto when he was kind of walking in when he kind of opened the door and when well, I opened the door he was walking towards the mostly uh, right tag tower Following well, one of the guards because the guards already communicate with one of the guards over there in the Rakaga Tower, but yeah. This is where the Rakaga says, Where will he be at? Somewhere in the village right now. So, of course, he's following all the rules and not like using his chakra or anything. And right now is going and following one of the guards. I see. So, I will wait here after I work out a couple more times. So, yeah, the Rakaga continues to work out. This is where, well, uh, I forgot that one uh, dark skin with white hair uh, female. But she just sighs and says, God damn it, not this again. Uh, both, uh, was it called, um, what's his damn name? Uh, fuck, I forgot his name. Well, I think it was uh, Amoe? No, Amoe was someone else. Um, mostly uh, two of uh, the Rakagis main guards are kind of sighing. Knowing the Rakag is going to keep working out until this person comes. This is where, well, Naruto, he's walking around, well, walking with the uh, guard towards the Rakage Tower. Because Naruto has never been in the Cloud Village. So, of course, he's kind of confused. <laughs> so, of course, he actually bumped into someone when he was walking with the guard. Bumped into a blonde-haired girl with blue eyes. And, of course, she was tall, but she wasn't as tall as Naruto that much. And, of course, she was, like, 5'8", and she just says, Ow, watch where you're going. Naruto says, uh, yeah, sorry about that. This is where, well, the guard says, come on. This is where Naruto kind of keeps walking, and this is where, well, the girl opens her eyes and looks up and sees, well, Naruto walking by. This is where, well, she says, who the hell is he? Kind of. Interesting. This is where, well, she decides to kind of follow Naruto because it's a Samui. And, of course, this is where Naruto and the guard gets to the Raikage office. Of course, Naruto gets up towards where the Raikage will be at. Naruto, he looks at the two guards, and the two guards says, You must be the Suna ninja. So, you are here to give a scroll towards the Raikage. About... This is where Naruto says, About... Kind of something dealing with Konoha. This is where the Raikage managed to hear that from the door. 
he somehow managed to hear that, uh, even though Naruto is speaking in such a medium tone of voice. And this is where Right Tiger busts through the door and says, "What? What is what is right now happening to Kona?" Uh, Naruto says, "Not something in particular, but mostly that uh, Gara has a proposition for you if you want to join." Here you go. Here's the scroll. That's where well. The right Kage takes it, he then opens it, gets to his like table, and tells Naruto to come in and all that. Naruto sees the dark uh, skinned woman, uh, well, female with white hair, or was it lightish purple? I can't remember, it was either white or purple, I can't remember. Of course, this is where she kind of just bowed down to Naruto, and Naruto also bowed down, just to be mannerful. And of course, the right Kage is reading all of this, he's right now just speed reading. Kind of looking through all the words, seeing that what Gara is prophes uh, was a car kind of suggesting is a kind of suggestion to crush Konoha. He has a strong uh, ally that has the power of well, something stronger than the Nine Tails. Gara suggested, well, not suggested, kind of said in the what's it called scroll. It's a where you uh, he kind of asked the right Kage. Not for help, but a suggestion. E either he would join to crush Kona and take uh, however many percent of uh, the supplies he wants, of resources, slash whatever he else wants, or you can pick no. You're up your choice, Raikage uh, Dano. That's what it says in the scroll. It's short sure enough, but yeah. This is where the Raikage, he says, uh, what's it called? This is where the right Kage says, Mabui, give me a pin. This is where, well, Mabui, who's the dark skin or dark toned skin uh, female with white hair, of course, kind of gives the a pin towards what's called the right Kage. And the right Kage starts signing it. And of course, he did put his like name, his signature, and all that. And also, he did say, Yes, 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 yes. He also did write his own scroll. To give towards, uh, well, Naruto about a meeting that he wants to call. Well, only him, a meeting between, uh, Gara, uh, what's called the Stone Village, if what's called An Anoi does like what's called, or well, Omoi, or not Omoi, and, well, for, uh, either Anoki either agrees or disagrees. So, of course, he makes two squirrels. And Naruto kind of also suggests that the missing village might join because, well, Naruto has a mission to kind of assassinate the old Mizukage to kind of get May's vote to kind of help them with the war. Here's where the right Kage then agrees on that and thinks of like bringing, well, sending one of his shinobis towards also help Naruto kind of like hurry up that mission because if they get the uh, Mizukage, then we'll get more resources to actually able to crush Konoha. So Naruto just suggested. And of course the Raikage kind of makes a third scroll. Of course gives it to Naruto. Gives all like four scrolls to Naruto. And Naruto says, uh, yeah, thank you uh, Raikage do uh, Dono. And of course is where, well, uh, Naruto just bows down. And of course is where the Raikage says, don't bow down. Han uh, give me a handshake instead. Here's where Naruto does. And this is where the right Kage decides to give him a firm handshake by just gripping tighter to see how strong Naruto is. This is where Naruto is like holding it on pretty good. And Naruto decides to just let loose for a second. And this is where Naruto accidentally crushes a little bit about uh, A's hand. This is where A feels a sharp pain in his hand. And Naruto lets go pretty fast after, well, yeah. This is where, well, the right Kage smiles at Naruto, seeing that Naruto's pretty damn strong. And Naruto was even phased from even his hand being crushed. So, of course, or being trying to crush. Here's where the right Kage says, I see great potential in you. Um, kid, teen, I think you are. Huh, interesting. Can't really tell since you wear blindfolds on your head. So, yeah, why well, not blindfold? Naruto's wearing a mask over his face, so it's pretty much unable to see what it is.
it's kind of like a uh, Shinigami mask, mostly. Or not Shinigami mask, a demonic mask. So, yeah. So, of course, not many people can see what's underneath the uh, kind of mask. So, of course, this is where, well, the right guy gets says, you are the smith. Uh, this is where Naruto leaves. And, of course, this is where Naruto gets out of the village, gets towards. Next, it is, well... The Stone Village, of course, he does get his, like, kunai and shuriken back. And, of course, is where, before even getting out of the village, he did kind of bump into Samui again. Well, not actually at this time. Well, not on purpose. Uh, because, the f not on purpose, on accident, like, the first time. On purpose this time, Samui mostly walked in front of him. That's why Naruto knew that she was actually doing this on purpose. And Naruto kind of just stands still. Someone was kind of walking forward, but this is where Naruto walked to the side from her. Like, just move from the side. This is where someone kind of says, interesting. So you knew that I was going to try to bump into you again. Naruto says, of course, I'm not dumb. And besides, I have some important things to do. Someone says, oh, and what is that? Things that you might want to ask the Raikage for. For me, I am only a simpler... A simpler messenger to kind of give towards the Raikage, the Stone Kage, and the Mizukage. <clears throat> Other than that, that I'm just a simple Asuna, uh, yeah, Asuna Shinobi messenger. I'm nothing special. This is where somebody said, oh really? She throws a kunai really fast at Naruto that even though a messenger would have definitely be able to dodge, Naruto caught it with just his fingers, his two fingers. Is there someone who says, You sure aren't just a simple. You seem too strong to be just simple. Naruto says, I might be too strong. I might be too weak. Whoever knows. <clears throat> Naruto says, That's where someone says, I don't really like those riddles. Too cryptic to think about it. That's where Naruto says, Too bad. Gotta leave. Naruto gets to the uh, gate and just like, uh, adds lightning chakra to his legs and just start running towards the stone village now. This is where Naruto gets to the stone village and of course the guards told Naruto to halt and seize any weapons and of course ask the state and why Naruto's here. Naruto explains that he is from Suna and he is has two scrolls from one from one the Raikage and the other uh, the well uh, what's it called uh, his Kage, basically the Suna Kage. This is where the guards kind of nodded, told what's it called one of the guards to kind of get uh, Anoki, kind of message him and telling him if it's okay for a Suna ninja to be here. Kind of Anoki kind of got the message, told the person to it's okay, and yeah, this is where uh, Naruto is now okay to let to be in the village. But instead of being leaded or kind of brought by one of the stone uh, ninjas, Naruto isn't brought by anyone. And he didn't get checked by any of what's it called his kunai or shuriken. He's confused. This is where Naruto, he just wanders off a little bit, finds a stone ninja, asks for the, what's it called, the Kage Tower. And of course, the ninja kind of grumpily says, Sure, it's over there, fuck off, idiot. This is where Naruto says, okay, thanks, I guess. Naruto gets to the stone, uh, well, the stone, uh, Kage, the tower, another. And of course, this is where Naruto, he walks up the stairs, gets up. This is where Naruto, he kind of, like, keeps walking. There's, like, burning any, well, there's some ambus and all that. Naruto asks to be let in and all The ambus kind of just lets him in because he must be the messenger. Because he's the only Suna ninja here. And of course, I should also mention one thing. Where did Naruto get the Suna headband as well? Naruto asked for the Suna headband before leaving from Gar because he would need it to kind of enter some of these villages. So, of course, this is where, well, Gar did give him, so yeah. So, of course, this is where Naruto, he has the headband on, well, on his head. So, yeah, it can be shown pretty easily. So, yeah. Of course, this is where, well, Anoki says, you must be the Suna Ninja. You have a scroll for me from, well, I'm 
perhaps uh, guessing Ga uh, basically the Suna Kage, uh, basically the Kazukage, and the right Kage. This is where Naruto nodded and gives two scrolls towards the Kanoki. The first scroll he reads is about uh, from Gara, and this is where, well, Anoki. He looks around his table and says, Where the fuck are the pins at? This is where, well, Ko uh, not Koyoki, uh, what's it called? His uh, granddaughter, uh, What's her name? This is where Kurosuke is right now, just trying a little bit with the pen and all. And this is where Anoki says, uh, "Kurosuke, give me that pen." That's where Kurosuke says, "What? No, get your own, old man." That's where Anoki says, "No time to argue, daughter. I need to sign this paper." That's where she decides to do it, and Anoki, and Anoki, man, should catch it. And, and also kind of break his back a little bit. He's like, oh, I'm too old for this shit. Damn it. I don't care. He gets down, starts signing the paper, and says yes. Gives it to Naruto. The other paper, it's, well, the right Kage. Kind of just a message of a meeting if he does accept and, well, agrees to the kind of, well, Konoha crush. This is where Anoki does write one back to the right Kage. And one to, well, not uh, as a car. One to the right Kage, uh, Gara, and Naruto suggests to give one to the Mizukage. This is where, well, Noki says, I mean, we might need a f kind of extent from another village. And Naruto says, just in case they don't, what's the car? The Mizukage will be good if, what's the car? How does it Let me tell you. This is where Naruto explains if uh, he's able to take out the old Mizukage with his power, uh, because he's someone an assassin, uh, he will be able to get the other Mizukage, well, the new Mizukage, who is probably the Revolution Army leader, to become the Mizukage, and of course make her sign this paper of an Allies treaty to be able to, well, destroy Konoha. So Konoha won't be the first people to kind of do this alliance with the Mizukai, with the Mizukage. Yeah, I mean, the Miss of the Shimosi. That's where Anoki thinks about it and does make a third scroll, and Yang gives it to Naruto. Naruto nods, and that's where Anoki says, I might also send some of my shinobis to get to, well, the Miss Village. When will this be? Naruto explains that it will be taken in, well, a week, Naruto said, on like the. I'm gonna say that it will be like on the 21st, because there will be like. Naruto is right now just on, well, mostly the the date, it would be kind of the 15th, right, uh, well, the 15th right now in their world, and the 21st is when Naruto is going to the Mist Village to take out Yagare. So, of course, uh, Noki will be sending some people to help, well, Naruto fight off any of the, what's called, kind of evil forces of Yagare, so yeah. So, of course, this is where, well, Noki says you're dismissed, and of course, Naruto's walking away. And Kurosuke got an interest to Naruto and says, So, where are you going there, uh, good looking? This is where uh, Noki says, uh, Kurosuke, you weren't paying attention to when I needed you, and now you're paying attention to the Suna Ninja? No, 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 no. I forbid you from talking to him. Now, sit there and draw whatever you were doing. This is where Kurosuke ignores her grandfather for a little bit, and this is where Naruto kind of already disappeared. Because, well, yeah, Naruto didn't have time for this. This is where Kurosuke says, Well, grandfather, you made him disappear. Good job. And Noki says, Ugh, whatever. Oh, my back. This still hurts like hell. And Noki says. So, yeah, Naruto's now out of the village and going towards Tsuna. Now, of course, uh, Naruto brings back the scrolls to Suna and gives, uh, what's it called, the scrolls. This is where Gara says that even taking out what's called a uh, Yagere, meaning that would be taking out the Biju. Because, I mean, Naruto says that he might be the 20 tail Chinchuriki, even though that's a lie. He's the limited tail. He's the unlimited tail Chinchuriki, but. No one's gonna be knowing about that later on, but yeah, of course, where Gara says that is true. 
putting Yagre into another shinobi. Hmm. That's what Naruto says. Maybe give... Wait, no. That won't work. Naruto was going to suggest the three toes to be put into one of the Suna shinobis. But since the three toes is actually a water type, being here in the sand will kind of be useless. This is where Gar nods and says that is true. The six toes will also be kind of useless here. If we still have Shikaku, it'll be useful here, but I don't want to be sure uh, it was God. Shikaku's host again. That bastard was annoying. This is where Naruto understands. That's where Gar says, So are you going to go assassin Yagare? Naruto nodded. And this is where, well, Gara says, then I'll be sending Tamari uh, coming along with you to kind of talk to, uh, well, the kind of Yagre's, uh, well, not Yagre's forces, mostly the others, like the um, Revolution Army. This is where Naruto nodded. And this is where, well, Naruto did also kind of say that he will be going on the first. So, of course, Tamari comes along with some uh, ninjas. Like, these ninjas are kind of like one Jonin that's a female and two Chunins that one's a guy and another's a girl. But, yeah, just coming along with Tamari. And, of course, this is where these uh, three was actually three Genins that Tamari had under her wing. And they're coming along. Now, of course, this is where, well, the Cloud Village just sent out uh, some ninjas towards the Mist Village and also the Stone Village on the 21st. So, of course, to meet up with uh, Suna's ninjas. So, the ninjas that uh, Tomari kind of meets up and Naruto also is, well, Samui from, well, the Cloud Village and, well, from the Stone Village would be uh, Kurosuki. They all know Naruto and they all look at Naruto kind of fluster a little bit. Uh, mostly Tomari. And Samui, and even Kurosuki. Naruto kind of just looks at the forces that he has. And sees that it won't actually slow him down. And he's right now just thinking through a lot of things. He is extremely smart, I should mention. So I already did mention that, I think, in the beginning. Because Kurama did kind of help him out with the wise part, the smart part, and a lot of other things. So, of course, this is why Naruto, they get, well, across from, well, they get a boat Onto the uh, what's it called? Um, Naruto kind of noticed that he, uh, the best way to get to the uh, what's it called? The Mist Village would be through the uh, what's it called? The Cloud Village, basically in Lightning Country, and the other part would be through Fire Country. But he isn't trying that shit, he hates being near Fire Country, and of course, another would be through the Summoning Island. An island full of summoning creatures. But he doesn't know if the mystical creatures are from that island. Because they did talk about an island they had. For multiple mythical uh, creatures and all that. So this is where Naruto summons out a, well, small dragon first. Well, a medium dragon mostly. And Naruto kind of talks to the medium dragon. This is where, well, I should mention that Naruto is right now in like lightning country near the edge of the water and all that. And of course, the dragon kind of tells Naruto that Naruto's able to, uh, what's it called, reverse summon to the summoning world. And of course, from there, he can go towards to the Mist Village. That would be the easiest way. But of course, they don't have boats. Naruto says, can I summon one of you big guys? Like one of the bigger dragons? This is where the dragon, the uh, medium dragon nodded. This is where Tamari, uh... Tamari, uh, what's it called? Kurosuki and even somewhere are shocked to see a dragon. And this is where, well, the dragon says, yes, be able to do that, Naruto-sama. This is where, well, he didn't say Naruto-sama. He says Satoru-sama. Because he didn't want to say Naruto on accident. He, every animal somebody knows that Naruto changed his name. Naruto to Satoru. Just because he kind of likes it a little bit better than Naruto. He hates the name Naruto. Um, Uzumaki and Namakase. He hates those names. So, yeah. So, of course, this is where, well, uh, the dragon says, so, let me reverse summon you. That's where, well, the dragon reverse summon Naruto and the group towards the summoning, uh, island. And this is where a bigger dragon stands there and says, 
I guess I'll be what's it called your ride towards the land of mist. Uh, Satoru Sama. This is where Naruto gets on, and Naruto kind of helps uh, Tamari and the others get on, and even what's it called the lower shinobu that it, they kind of like other jonings and uh, chunings, but yeah. This is where they get to the land of mist, and this dragon, as you mentioned, it's a what's it called. His scales are black, but of course, he has some red on him. Kind of making him be in the fire dragon. So, yeah. So, of course, Naruto, he's brought towards uh, the land of, well, not mist. Mostly, uh, what's called water country. Oops, sorry. This is where, well, water country. And, of course, this is where uh, Naruto is right now, well, looking around to try to find, well, uh, the, not Revolution Army, the, uh, Resistant Army. I don't know why I call it Revolution Army. Resistant Army. That's why Naruto says, hey, Dragon, do you sense that? Yes. That seems like to be a lot of people right now in the war. This is where, well, Naruto says, dive down to see what it is. This is where, well, uh, Dragon does, but this is where Naruto goes through hand size. Wind style. Wind great, uh, great, uh, Breakthrough. This is where a giant wind gust smashes through the mist and, of course, shows a war right now happening. Mei is right now fight, uh, fighting against Yagere. Yagere, right now, has three tall form. This is where Naruto says, I see. Hey, uh, what's it called? Um, Tamari, uh, Samoy, and Kirisuki. Uh, that right there who's fighting against the three, uh, yeah, the three tails is named Mei. I will be getting her away from the three tails while you three will be talking to her. And because she's a female, you'll probably get more better luck while I'll be fighting against the three tails. So good luck. Now the three tails, uh, this is where Naruto says, don't uh, poof away, dragon. The dragon nodded and of course lands down, kind of burning through a lot of, well, the opposite, um, basically I get his forces down. Of course, this is where these, What's it called? Asuna ninjas, the uh, cloud ninjas, and even the stone ninjas kind of help the, uh, what's it called, resistant army against the uh, Yagre's army. So, yeah. Of course, this is where both, uh, what's it called? Well, all three of them managed to get, what's it called, Mei away. Basically, Tamari, Kurosuke, and uh, Samui. While Naruto started fighting against, well, uh, the three toes. Kind of kicking his ass using lightning chakra. To kind of dodge all his attacks and kind of just kick his ass. Use ice and fire. Fire to burn him pretty bad. Enough for him not to be able to heal that much. And then ice to freeze him. And then use lightning chakra towards his legs. To kind of just roundhouse kick uh, Yagre towards a wall. So yeah. And of course this is where, where well, Naruto starts kind of fighting against Yagre pretty easily. Yagre is in his second form, well, second stage of, well, the three tails. And, of course, he's in, like, this red stage, so, of course, like, his skin is gone and all that. And, of course, he starts fighting against Naruto. Of course, he wasn't in it in the second stage or anything. He was right now in, like, the first stage where he kind of has a kind of cloak a little bit. But yeah. Of course, he's starting to kind of, like, fight seriously. At Naruto, and Naruto isn't even using Karama's chakra at all. Naruto's just dodging super easily. And when uh, Yagre managed to almost claw Naruto, the attack never reached Naruto. Naruto is using Limitless. And this is where Naruto says, Pretty pathetic for yourself. Naruto ignites his, well, right hand with Crimson Red Flames and blasts Yagre. Yagre gets hit to a wall. But this is where, well, Naruto says, well, since you are my opponent, Mom had to get serious. That's why Naruto summons out two swords. And these two swords are these. One, it's red like this, while the other one is kind of like white like this. But of course, those swords actually appeared. And of course, Naruto starts fighting against, well, the, uh, well, Yagre. Start slicing through him and easily cutting through the chakra cloak. Why? Because Naruto's adding Karama's chakra into the swords, easily cutting through uh, Yagre's kind of like cloak of being in the second stage. This is where Yagre gets angry and says, Screw you! and goes into the full three tails. 
the full might of the three toes. That's why Naruto says pathetic. To think about it. That's why Naruto shows to go into, K uh, well, not KCM, ICM, meaning Infinity Chakra Coke. And of course, it's where, well, he does it. It's the same that I mentioned, like a one side is blue, like uh, Mystic Teal Green Blue. The other side is Crimson Red. Uh, the lines are jagged to be lightning style. And of course, his eyes are, well, this Dojutsu. That's where, well, Naruto also has an affinity symbol on his head. So yeah. Naruto. He goes into an avatar state with, well, Karamas, bringing out this kind of fox. And starts fighting into well the three so beating his ass so easily that Naruto managed to kill Yagre. Now Yagre was out of the cloak of the three souls I should mention when Naruto managed to kill him because he shoved his hand through Yagre, ripping it out and killing him. We're not mostly killing him. Well he did it, but also ripped out the three souls before Yagre was gonna die. And sealed it really fast into a jar. The Naruto actually kind of created, well, not created, it was actually in the, what's called, place that he trained for eight years. He found out these jars that he can seal things into. And, of course, it can definitely hold a juice power in. So, yeah, it's small, but it's able to hold anything. This is where, well, Naruto just, like, takes the three tools. Of course, yeah, uh, what's called, Mei is convinced to kind of sign the treaty with what's called Suna, uh, the Cloud Village, and even the Stone Village. And yeah. This is where, well, Naruto, he is kind of just, uh, just sitting there when Mei is kind of like gathering up a lot of things, gathering up her forces and other things. And yeah, of course, she's signing a treaty that Naruto kind of gives her scoring up. And of course, this is where, well, Naruto. He is going to bring them back to the, what's called, well, uh, Suna and Yeah. Now, of course, when Naruto gets back to Suna with Tomari and the others kind of go back to their own villages, Naruto then kind of mentions to Gar that he wants to eliminate what's called, well, the Waterfall Village. Because the Waterfall Village can't support, well, uh, basically, uh, uh, basically fire country then the water uh, water uh, fall village won't be able to support it and besides they will get an extra drink jerky like the uh, uh, seven tails so yeah that's where well guard thinks about it and nods and gives the mission to go to go get the well seven tails but also eliminate uh, the waterfall village but this is where I'm gonna leave it off for part three of what of Nars so uh, had a tail piece with unlimited power, or, I mean, unlimited tails. But other than that, I will now leave it off here. So, yeah, have a nice potato day, potato night, potato seed, potato, potato, and potato. Potato.